Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the architecture of VHDL program. Architecture is nothing but second part of the programming. In the VHDL programming, the first part is entity, which we have discussed in the previous video. Entity is the place where we discuss completely about input and output variables. Suppose, for example, uh, entity just me just uh, let me recall what is entity is. So in the part of entity we show what inputs and outputs of a logic circuit of a logic circuit okay suppose if you are having this is the logic circuit we are having what are the number of inputs that it has and what are the number of outputs that it has Okay, all these inputs and output variables are specified in the entity part. Okay, so for example, entity, entity also consists of along with inputs and outputs, some generic statements. So entity, some adder is generic, generic n is an integer type. So n integer which is having a value of 4 which is having a value of 4 here is this value this representation colon is equal to this representation is for constant that means n value is constant throughout this program it cannot be varied and similarly m is something like a time instant that is also equal to some 10 nanoseconds that means for 10 nanoseconds this m will be uh, like uh, m is having 10 nanoseconds means the uh, process may be delayed or uh, break or it will be repeated for 10 number 10 nanoseconds and later we will show port port consisting of input ports and output ports let a b are the inputs so a b input mode we have to specify whether it is an input direction or output direction direction should be specified so input and here bit or bit vector depending upon the size of the a and b inputs suppose if the size is one bit then just bit or std underscore logic that's it suppose if it is two bit like a consisting of two bits a1 a0 and b consisting of again two bits b1 b0 then commonly we can write it as bit vector bit vector so one to zero so one down to one down to zero and m suppose output y is equal to out out if it is a single vector then bit otherwise if it is a bit vector then bit vector 1 down to 0 okay suppose after addition if you have 2 bit addition will give you 3 bits then it will be 2 down to 0 next end port end entity so end adder end adder this is the this is the representation of an entity for an example adder and now we will move on to the main part of this video which is nothing but architecture so architecture is the place where we discuss completely about the behavior of the logic circuit in the entity part we are not discussing about the behavior of the architecture whereas in our behavior of the sir, logic circuit whereas in the architecture we will completely specify uh, what is the relation between inputs and outputs in this particular architecture so in architecture in this we will specify the behavior of the behavior of the logic circuit the behavior of the logic circuit or we can also say it shows the relation between it shows the relation between input and outputs it shows the relation between inputs and outputs for any logic circuit for any logic circuit another important point is entity alone cannot run a program because entity is not specifying any operation but architecture should be there for any entity architecture 
architecture should be followed for an entity for an entity okay so once entity is determined and once in once entity is written definitely it should be followed by an architecture then only it gives you the perfect vhdl programming okay so now let us see the syntax of the architecture <laughs> that means in a vhdl program so vhdl program consists of entity followed by architecture that will give you complete program of the vhdl okay now let us see the syntax of this architecture so architecture architecture name i'm just writing it as arc name of whose architecture it is that particular entity name we have to write here okay entity name is so what we are writing architecture architecture name of entity name is suppose adder previously we have taken in an example adder we have taken so for that adder just we have specified what are the inputs and what are the outputs we have not specified any relation between those two inputs and outputs so that particular relation is going to be written in an architecture so this architecture belongs to that entity that will be known by this entity name so entity name specifies whose whose architecture it is okay so there are n number of entities are there among these n number of entities for which we are writing the architecture that will be specified here so architecture architecture name of entity name is next architecture declaration part architecture declaration part architecture declaration part any signal statements constant statements such type of uh, declarations will be done here after these declarations we will begin the original architecture programming okay so begin and we will be having concurrent statements concurrent statements lot of statements will come concurrent statements begin concurrent statements end architecture name end arc name this is the simple program syntax of the architecture so first we will write entity after that architecture architecture name of entity name is is and then we will represent any signals intermediate signals are there intermediate constants are there of uh, or else if you want to define any new parameter just for counting operation all such things will be declared here only just after after architecture before begin later begin and we will be having number of concurrent statements concurrent statements means once uh, number of statements are there to show the behavior of the logic circuit and then end architecture name end architecture name so here architecture declaration architecture declaration part will specify any input uh, any input or in, we can say intermediate intermediate signal declarations any intermediate signals are there for that we have to go for signal declaration signal declaration or any constants or any variables so such kind of declarations will be done here between architecture and begin so once it is begin next concurrent statements concurrent statements concurrent statements will tell the behavior of 
the logic circuit behavior of the logic circuit okay so the behavior of the logic circuit is going to be obtained by using concurrent statements so we are having multiple statements like this all these multiple statements will give you the behavior of the logic circuit nothing but input output relation relation between or we can say relation between relation between output and input input variables output and input variables okay so this is what the architecture of the architecture of the any vhdl programming now one important point we have to remember that there are three different levels of abstraction in the vhdl programming there are i will write here there are three levels of abstraction available for architecture program okay there are three levels what are they first one is behavioral model behavioral model and second one data flow model data flow model and third one structural model structural model okay so behavioral model data flow model structural model these are the three important models available to write a vhdl code to write a vhdl code one should definitely know in which uh, model that he or she has to write okay behavioral model is something like depending upon the truth table in behavioral model we will write the program based on the truth table and in data flow model we will write the program based on the boolean expression relation between the input and output equation and in structural model we will write the vhdl program based upon the structure internal architecture okay i will write a brief notes of these three first one in behavioral in behavioral model the vhdl program is written based on is written based on based on what in behavioral model the vhdl program is written based on truth table truth table that is nothing but we will completely we will completely specify suppose if the truth table consists of uh, n number of lines n number of statements we need to write by using if else conditions okay uh, like a b something like nand gate is there or and gate is there for example f is uh, y is equal to ab so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 that means and operation is 0 into 0 that is equal to 0 so 0 into 1 that is equal to 0 1 into 0 that is equal to 0 and 1 into 1 that is equal to 1 so this type of behavior for four different lines we need to write in the code okay y is equal to if a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 then if else statements are helpful in the uh, behavioral model so y is equal to a and b y is equal to a and b that means uh, sorry uh, if y a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 then y is equal to 0 that's it just we will specify what is the output for that input condition we are specifying the behavior of the the behavior of the logic circuit if a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 then y equal to 0 and similarly else else if if else same a equal to 0 b equal to 1 then y is equal to 0 so similarly you need to write four different else if statements else if statements to specify what is the exact input condition okay whereas a data flow is nothing but in data flow in data flow we write vhdl code based on based on 
Boolean equation based on Boolean equation simply y equal to a and b simply y equal to a and b that's it just this and operation will give you all the required combinations of the output and in structural in structural we write we write VHDL code on the internal architecture on the internal architecture okay we will write <coughs> we will write the code of individual architectures later we will combine all the individual programs using a method called port map using a method called port map okay this is what different styles of these are the different styles of the VHDL programming in the next video I will explain a detailed uh, programming of a behavioral model with an example thank you